Okay, hi! Um, so I tried to write all of this down and it failed really hardcore. So I guess I'm gonna try to vlog about it. Um, my life's been really busy lately, really chaotic, a lot of random shit going on. I don't even know. But it's just been insane. Like, um, I haven't had time to do anything, like, at all. I feel like I'm running around all the time, I'm hardly sleeping. I honestly say that for 60 hours straight. And I, I don't even know. Um, I'm exhausted, I'm stressed, but, you know, it's actually not that bad. I would really rather be busy than not busy, I guess. And I'm pretty sure people in the hallway can hear me and this is really awkward. I don't even know why I do these. You see, I think the reason I started this whole vlogging thing is just for the sake of being able to look back and watch them later. I don't really know. I just feel like it'll be something that'll be really kind of fun, I guess, when I'm like 20. When I'm 20. Wow, that was pathetic. When I'm not 20, I'm almost 20. My birthday's in a week. Yeah. Actually, less than a week. Six days. Same difference. Either way, I'm turning 20 and it'll be awesome. Um, but, you know, like, say, like, five years down the road, or 20 years down the road, or any of that, like, I just would like to be able to, like, have this little snippet of my life, and what it was like when I was 20, or when I was 18, or when I was 22, or whatever. But, also because I'm completely terrified of video cameras, and I'm extremely awkward in front of them, which is weird, because I don't get awkward around strangers, I don't get awkward... On the phone I don't none of it it's just something about recording myself on camera but I'm getting better about it so I guess all this vlogging business is helping maybe I hope not really sure either way I'm pretty sure whoever lives across from me thinks I'm insane or for anyone who can hear me actually doing this um, but I digress uh, let's see I need to catch you up you guys up a little bit on my life I'm probably gonna have to do this in multiple parts because I have so much going on um First of all, obviously, my room is a pit. Ignore that. I'm sorry. That has to do with the fact that I'm busy, like I said. Um, the Really, the two big events going on right now are probably school and guys. These are the two things that like I have not caught anyone up on. I don't even really talk about. I don't really have anyone to talk about, talk about it with, which is really depressing sometimes, but ideal. You see, like, sorry, this is like video camera awkwardness kicking in right now, but um, I'm one of those people who used to tell everyone everything. I didn't really believe in discretion. Um, I figured that if, if people cared about me, they would stay. But then this summer hit, and I hit my lowest point. And I really built walls up, I guess, to see if anyone even cared enough to climb them. And I think the hardest part was realizing that no one really did. Um, and even now, and even knowing that people do care, and, and people want to know what's going on with me, and, and people are willing to be there and to carry me when I can't carry myself, even knowing that, I still have these walls. And um, I'm not strong enough to tear them down, but I'm working on it. I really am. It's just that uh, I don't really talk about my problems to people anymore. I mean, like, you guys see me vlogging all the time. That's that's because I, I don't talk to people about these things. I'm really silly and upbeat, and I'm there for everyone. And But I, I'm not really there for myself. So, anyway, I digress. <laughs> but yeah, I guess those are probably the two things that I, I really need to actually catch people up on. Um, okay. School, boy, school. We'll start with school, because theoretically, school is more important than guys, right? Yes? I hope so. I'm actually not someone who thinks guys are that important. You know, like, you always see those girls, and they're like, oh, la, 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 I need to be in a relationship to be happy, and I need to be with someone, and I need to date all the time, it doesn't even matter, and... No, no, seriously, fuck that. I don't even care. A rated R for language? Fuck it. Fucking retarded. Seriously, like, if you can't be happy with a guy in your life, something's wrong. Um, and that's coming from me, and I understand that, like, yeah, I used to think that. I, I thought that as a kid for a really long time. But the truth is, like, in life, you have yourself. And when it comes to the hierarchy of shit that matters, there's you, 
there's your family, and whether you want to believe it or not, your family is way more important than all that other stuff. It takes a long time to get to realize that, yeah, and I know that they'll get on your nerves, but no, you can't compare friends to family, sorry. They're the family is your rock, whether you want them to be or not. Um, then there's friends, obviously, because, you know, like, br hoes before what? Bros before hoes? That's not the right version. Chicks before dicks. That's the girl version. I got this, maybe. Um, but seriously, like, it, your friends are way more important than a guy's ever going to be, or a girl, if you roll that way. Personally, I don't, but I'm completely okay if you do. I have, I have zero prejudice against that. Anyway, I digress yet again. I'm uh, not on my ADD medicine right now, which is making me really, really distractible. I'm also tired, and I took some caffeine. Okay, that sounds like I'm a druggie. Not took some caffeine, like, oh, I just pop caffeine all the time. It was like half of a no-dose. Ooh, big whoop. That's, that's less caffeine than in coffee. Anyway, um, yes. But, you know, and then comes guys. And when it comes to things that should be important, like finding out who you are and your... Not, you know, like taking care of yourself and taking care of the people you love and all those things. Like, I feel like guys really shouldn't be your first priority. But, um, anyway, you know, even though they aren't my first priority, my life is really fucked up at this point. I've had a lot of bad experiences when it comes to dating. Um, obviously. The last time I think I was really clear about everything is probably in January or so. Okay, let's, uh, this is going to get confusing. In January, obviously, I met Eric. Um, it was the very first week of January. We started dating, I guess. Nothing was ever official, but we, we were definitely dating. You know, we, we cared about each other. We still care about each other. Um, things were really good for about a month, and then it, it just fell apart, and I don't really understand why, because I, I cared about him so much. And it wasn't anything that either of us did, or that we didn't want to be together. It was just that, um, he's graduating from college, not high school, obviously. And when he's in CGT, it's going to be an animation, and he's moving to California. And so that, you, it's really hard to have a good foundation with that. You know, it's not, he's, he's not even going to be coming back. So if we were going to keep anything going, it was going to be long distance. And um, I guess he wasn't really willing to fight for that. And it took me a while to realize it. But it was never a problem with me. For a long time, I wanted to think that it was that I wasn't worth fighting for. But, um... I'm totally worth fighting for, and I don't doubt that. I, I shouldn't doubt that. It's just a problem with him that he's not willing to fight, and it's, I'm not gonna, it's, it hurts, but it's, I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna put myself down because of it. Anyway, but, um, you know, it wasn't that we just stopped talking, we just stayed like best friends. And we're still very close. But um, recently, he decided to get back with his ex. Which, one, is completely fucked up because he... I don't even get it. I really don't. It's such bullshit. Because he was always like, oh, Sarah, you're so much more important than... I like you so much more than her, and blah, blah, blah. And I, I'm so happy I can have an intelligent conversation with you. And I couldn't have one with her because she was like some fucking fashion major. Not that that says, like, not that you can't be a person with depth as a fashion major, but like, that's just the kind of person she was. Like, everything was about appearances. You look perfect. It doesn't matter what your soul is like. I don't have deep thoughts. I don't have anything except for my clothes and my external beauty. That's the kind of girl she is. And she's just like, She's the kind of girl who, like, goes out to parties and, like, every single weekend is trashed. And I don't even know. It's just the kind of person I don't personally get along with. And I don't try to group people into kinds of people, but um, we would not get along. Because I'm very much focused on you put everything else before appearances. And I am I like to... Sorry, I keep playing with my bangs. I will get to that in a moment why my bangs look 
jank. Okay, actually, they don't really look jank. They just feel jank because they're sweaty. Anyway, um, wow, funny I should be doing that as I talk about appearances. But, yeah, so he got back with her, and it caused a lot of drama, and now we're, we're kind of falling apart, I guess. Um... It's not his fault, it's mine. I just was really hurt by the fact that he deemed her worthwhile and her worth fighting for and not me, and um, I don't really understand, especially because he still acts like he likes me. I mean, like, a lot, and he's, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna separate this into parts because I don't know how long you can upload stuff on YouTube. So this is about 10 minutes, I'm gonna pause this. Wow, this is gonna be a long-ass vlog. Okay. Pause. Part two, coming up. Yeah.